Ladies and gentlemen, absolute pleasure to finally be back behind the microphone for season 2024. It's been a while. Coast to Coast has returned. Will we be here every, every week? Well, it's looking a little cloudy right now, but rest assured that we are thinking of you. These boys chat all the time. And the reason they get in a room and do it force fed, camera in face, microphone right up in the grill is for you guys. So we're back for the fans. And it is a pleasure to bring this bloke back. Uh, Co captain of the Coast to Coast podcast. Big step up. I've given you the mantle. Yeah. Oscar Allen, the people's champ, the golden boy. How are you, Led? I can't. I don't think I can officially roll as a golden boy anymore because we actually do have a golden boy in the midst of the footy club now, considering this time last year. However, uh, we did speak and I did say formally last year, this is my last time. Yet again, I'm still in the chair. So, how are you doing? Hope everyone's going well at home. Once again, sorry for the delay in getting it out. Uh, I had a sore knee, so that's murky the waters for the last couple of weeks. But we have some terrific young co-hosts slash guests in the studio this week. We do. We've got the spiritual waffle captain here in the Milkman, Jace Gilby, yeah. and the up-and-coming Ford superstar, Donkey Noah Long. How are you, boys? Going well, Thumper. Going well. Couldn't be happy to be on today and joined by my best mate, Jace. Yep. Nah, thank you very much for having me, Thumper. When you asked me the other day and said that Donk and Oz were doing it, I was... Pretty keen to get on. <laughs> so, question, mate. Spiritual captain of the Waffle side. So, when I think of spiritual captain, it's a 2006 grand final, right? Juddy, the actual captain. Cuzzy, the spiritual captain, gets <laughs> up with him. And So, when you boys win the Waffle flag this yeah. year, is, is it like you and Jacko holding either side of the cup and you're giving it to the crowd? Like that, Yeah, that's probably Jacko holding it, like me going up there, like getting horse out of the way. Yeah, pushing the coach <laughs> out of the way. Probably taking it off Jacko. Yeah, and saying and this is about me. That. Yeah. Um, genuine question, mate. How are you adjusting to life in WA? I'm, I'm sure most of the listeners will have a bit of an understanding of your background, but do you want to give us a quick spiel about the last... 24 months and where you're from, how you got to this position now? Yep, yep. So I originally was in school in Bendigo. I was living with a host family for a while and then in year 12, I sort of moved out and lived on my own. Had a housemate for a little bit, but sort of lived on my own in Bendigo. Tried to look after myself there, but um, didn't go that well at that. <laughs> got to a fair bit of mischief. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not that much mischief, but um, the school took a bit of a hit and then... <laughs> Did you actually, were you actually rocking up to school or were there no, days you like... No, I actually went to, that was one thing that I'd done, I actually went to school all the time, never oh, missed That's an that. awesome accomplishment, yeah. well done. So what happened? <laughs> well, I, I don't know, I just like, <laughs> mate, I was too focused about getting home, cooking my own dinner, doing the washing. Can I just add in here? Yeah. I don't know if Jace knows this, but I've got mates that were at the sc- same um, English exam as Jason. Um, <laughs> and and they honestly reckon Jason broke the world record for most toilet stops in an English exam in three hours. I actually did get banned from going to the toilet. <laughs> what, during, during your final period. year 12 yeah. exam? They think you're cheating. Well, yes, and just time-wasting and, like, not worried <laughs> about the thing. Can we be honest? Like, this is, like, were you cheating? No, no, I didn't cheat. No, so no, you just had the runs or yeah. something? No, I didn't even have the runs. It was just, like, like time filler because I finished my... So oh, you blitzed it too early. Three Eng- so during an English exam, what is it? Three essays. Three essays in three hours. Yeah, and I've three essays, probably four, or five lines an essay. In <laughs> are you serious? In about thirty-five. Four, it's normally minutes. like four or five pages yeah. an essay. Nah, and I, I had fitted them all onto one page. Just concise, right to the and point. Then went out. All right. And it was, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, so there. you went, yeah, you finished, you finished your schooling. So, uh, we got sidetracked. Yeah, you, an finished. academic, some would call you. Yeah, some would. Yeah. Could have had potential. Yes. Same, probably same with the footballing as well. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get on to footballing. Yeah. You graduate year 12, what happens next? Yep, so I was lucky enough to get picked up as a like a New South Wales like Cat B rookie to GWS. Yes. So because of where I, I was from, I was able to go there. Spent the year there um, and then unfortunately, yep. late last year, got delisted from mm, there. We hate delisting. Yeah, we Sorry do hate that. No, Sorry, no, that's mate. all right. Um which was flattening, but then we sort of had a little bit of stuff on after that, so that took the mind off that. And then I was sort of like, Harles was going, uh, Harles was coming over here, and then I was like, well, might as well. Longy's over here, feel the boys, and I was just like, right, yeah, well, I'm just going to do it. So I actually like booked a flight, and like two days later, I was just like, I'm going, and like I got to Perth, and then messaged Flinny, and I was mm. like, mate, like you mind if I stay in your house? Like, I've got nowhere to stay. <laughs> 
and then yeah, stay with Flinny for a few weeks, and then we worked it out from there. And then just like you were calling Belly or someone at the footy club and just saying, "Mate, give me a job." And <laughs> yeah, then, like, like I'm here. All of a sudden, there was, there was a job the next day, and, and then, then yeah, because I was originally going to do something with like Greenskeeping, but then I was just like, "That's right, we spoke yeah, about this." Yeah, yeah, we have. So because like that seemed all good at the start, where it was like, "Oh, you might like get to roll cricket pitches." Get the ground ready for Cricket pitches out the front of our footy oval. And it was like, nah, like you're weeding like the front of West, like the front of this place here, like just doing all the weeding, cutting the grass. At, and it was You've got to do like, your time, don't you? Yeah, I know, you do. But I was just like, nah. So but now that's I'm not your vibe. working in community. So nice. what's the dynamic of the household at the moment? It's you and Harley. He hasn't gone into a host family, which is very rare of a first year coming across from Vic, not going into the host family mm. situation. What's that? What's that like at the moment? Oh. Are you like his host dad? Nah, far from it. Har- <laughs> if, if Harley was on... I think it's the on, other way around from what I've heard. Yeah. If Harley was on, he would probably be like sort of throwing me under the bus saying like doesn't do anything. But then again, I do have to... I'm, it's not like I'm on a list now or I can just like come go to training, go home. Oh, you got a, a proper bit. job. Is that I've what you got, got a big boy job, yeah. <laughs> like I'm working like nine to five-ish, then have waffle training in the evening. By nine to five-ish, do you mean like rolling up to our team meetings and like <laughs> coming to training with us till midday, having our lunch, rolling into work one till two. Doing a podcast. Now doing the podcast, roll back to work at three o'clock and, oh, boys, I'm clocking out. Good to see you. Oh, Longy, that just quickly, hell, we'll right. get back to Harley. What was his presentation like to the boys the other day? He was prepping them for a, a clinic or the Rick's Rookie Coaching Clinic. He got up there in front of the group. What was that like? Uh, he he brings a bit of excitement to the uh, the clinic overviews now. Jace does. It was his first. Oh, probably his second time. His first one in front of the whole group. Um, How'd it go? Happy with were you, you there? No, nah, um, unfortunately, I uh, I wish I could have been there for the clinic. I'm all about giving back to the community, yeah, but yeah, I, I had yeah. to miss this one. Um, he went well. I'll I'll say he he did go well. He maybe got a bit. Focus on the look and his outfit. What were you wearing? Yeah, yeah, this is another thing. So, a little bit of a backstory. So, once again, like the nine to five job part of like <laughs> during the day. Just was, hammer that home, yeah. During the day with me and Trey. They're not ordering us right now, mate. Sorry. Yeah, right. <laughs> didn't have much on. And so, we were in there sorting out like just like old giveaways away. So, we were like putting them in different like to jackets and singlets and shorts and stuff like that. Mm. And then I found this like night like this nighty robe thing this silk robe and for some reason i thought it'd be funny to like walk in front of the whole playing group with no shirt <laughs> underneath just in a silk robe how do boys love it uh yeah they did yeah i, I think I, so the boys thought it was i probably was the one laughing yeah, the most, it, but it was funny but he like the whole uh information about the clinic and the overview <laughs> could have been better he, for, he forgot a few things but didn't say when we guys were going yeah, or, no, there yeah. was none of that there was yeah. none of that no, but the presentation and the and the humor was there for sure i was so nervous though like beforehand <laughs> like i was like that was my thing for the day like that was my big these are your teammates you're training with them every week you yeah know? i know i know but like that was because like it's I not. Was it wasn't kicking there. a footy around thumper. This was his job. This yeah, is this is nine, nine to five. Nine to five. <laughs> right, I'm with you. Yeah, but anyway, all right. It's good. Give me a bit of gather round chat, Longy. So this is the first time in my 16 years that the boys have gone on an away leg and then stayed away for another game. What was that like? Getting away from home and an extended period uh, away from Perth. It was fun. Yeah, I think uh, it was a good uh, week to spend with the boys. Um, having the older boys there without the kids was was funny and. Going out for dinner with them and catching them pretty relaxed was good. Um, but all in all, it was a pretty stock standard week. Trained well, um, then headed to Adelaide. and um, It's a busy week in Adelaide, so we had a few clinics. Went out to Mount Barker a few times for our captain's run and had a clinic there on the on the Thursday. Um, but it was a wonderful spot, wonderful oval out there, so it was an enjoyable nine days away. The oval looked in immaculate condition. Mm. Oh, it was, and a few of the boys have even commented, that's like one of their top. In terms of surface of the ground, that's what they've rated pretty highly. Obviously, I've only played on so many, but they've raved about it this week. So Locke Rawlinson comes in, plays his debut there, grew up, what, 10 minutes down the road. Had he played a lot of footy on this ground? Was he showing you all the pockets and wings? Uh, I'm not sure he played that. I didn't touch on how much he'd played. I don't think he played heaps there. The word has it they've kicked there. I, I'm commenting on this as a Victorian WA. I never had anything to do with South Australian footy or anything, but apparently they've kicked their local Mount Barker team off that ground, and it's strictly for good games like this. I pretty, much, I think they just get up for gather round. Wow. And that's why it's looking so good. All right. They only play three games a year, there, yeah. so it's in good nick. Yeah. Well, he was in good form. He kicked three in the opening round of yep. the waffle. How many did you feed him? Yeah, Locke Rawlinson. <laughs> you give him a few? <laughs> so is this, <laughs> this is a touchy subject, Are we mate? getting yeah. on the waffle chat? 
Yeah. Uh, I didn't give him any that that day. He right. did miss me once. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I'm saying karma got him when he had that set shot. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. He's a good man, Locke. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, going off script here, gentlemen, you two had a bet. <laughs> so, the bet was, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure what the bet was actually you had to do and if it's not PG we can leave it out but the bet was I remember it was like you need to get 35 32 32 and you need to kick 5 (laughs) that week you kick 0 and you had 0 touches no 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 11 11 touches (laughs) so you were 5 goals off the bet being completed and you were quick maths 21 21 touches off what's going through your two minds boys are we setting the standards too high or what was going on we were sitting around brekkie the morning it was the morning before, sorry, my game against um, Gerby West, and it mm. was in the in the Jason Gilby Cup. Yeah, exactly yeah, in, the, in the Jason Gilby yeah. Cup, and then we'd shot forward to next week for Jason. It was thirty two or more, and, and and it was steep coming from me only ever kicking one in a game, <laughs> and Jason never playing waffle before. <laughs> <laughs> so we probably set the bar a bit too high, but that's all right. I'm saying we'll that was the it. reason, though, that we because I know that. <laughs> Which is probably not not great, and we I don't know if we can cut it out or not. But I was thinking about that during the game. <laughs> no, yeah, I, no. Let's, let's be fair, Dinkin. Like I've had times in in yeah. AFL game or something. I like. I've not made a bet, but like I've thought about something. Yeah. Which is like, like you kick three at quarter time. Like I'm gonna kick. 12 yeah, goals yeah, today, and then it like, like. A, it's third quarter time, and I haven't touched it again. Yeah. You know, like that happens. What Jason doesn't know too, like I was glued to my phone watching that waffle game <laughs> counting touches and once I saw he was on about six at half time or something and I just turned it off <laughs> turned it off <laughs> <laughs> and, and was rubbing my hands together yeah beauty uh, you two have paired up recently in a bit of a sports challenge you want to give us a quick rundown of how the partnership fared and some of the chemistry between you on field oh, I'll start with this um, can't even look at him <laughs> <laughs> so we played a two man Ambrose tournament um, in Secret Harbour the other day this is some golf the two so of you pairing golf. up yeah yep. golf yep. yeah and so this is what we've been waiting for. Like we, since we've started playing golf together, we're like, like we can't wait for our first Ambrose. Day. So you signed up for this how long ago? The this tournament? Probably a month ago. Yeah, I'm saying a month because it's yeah. with like Future Golf. Yeah, and I yeah. just got the shout out. out shout yeah. out yeah. to Future, Future Golf. golf. Yeah. So if, like, if Future Golf are listening, like all the boys would love like oh, a yeah. lifelong subscription. Would <laughs> yeah. be good to, yeah. good to get. Anyway, <laughs> beside the point, you go. So with our Future Golf Ambrose tournament, um, this was booked in a month ago. We'd had this day set. I was going to come back from um, Adelaide and. Me and Jason were going to head down, ready to go. And we head down and, and this Jason wasn't feeling himself this day. And <laughs> and I was pretty grumpy. And, like, I, and he knows I was being pretty furious this week about the way he held himself on the golf course and, and how poor his form was. In terms of like actual form or behaviour? Like what like are we talking about? Behaviour and, and his golf was okay, but it's not to the level we know he can get yeah. to. Yeah. And the thing was, like, it had to be all well and good, but we were so excited for this day. Yep. And for him to turn up the way he did was was hard to watch and hard to be a part of. So can I give a bit of a context to the listeners? So we talk about the level of which is he is expected to play at. Like, what is your handicap currently? Wow, well, yeah. We'll go I, each, go each. Because so I think off, that we need to know, like, if we think your handicap's a five and he's playing oh, to a ten, like, he's not played to his level. So, so can we get some context? Like, what are your guys' I'm, handicaps? I'm off, I'm off 13. Yeah. Oh, how coincidental. Oh, yeah. Yes. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. No, so I'm off 13. And Jason? 26. So that's the thing. Jason is off 26, which is... What, what, do, you, what do you mean by that? He, he So he's, he's not the greatest in terms of handicap-wise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Going around is, about 95. Yeah. 95-ish. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But we know Jason and his best can go 80s. But 80s? This, this means... Matt, I'm not that bad. A few, f- few foot wedges in those 80s, I would have thought. But I, I, I've seen the hole that you two played <laughs> at the cut, mate, and you th- end up throwing the ball into the <laughs> into the beach. So that's <laughs> like what we were dealing with the other day. So yeah. this is when I say Jason wasn't up to his level. Where looking at if he was playing his own ball, it could have been in the in the areas of 110, 120, which mm. is pretty ugly. We, I just got I got tired. It was like like, like obviously a Sunday. I was tired. Yeah, because <laughs> from your big week of nine to five, yeah, and then you play waffle on the way. Like you, you, you're like a full time athlete and, <laughs> yeah. and worker. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, um, many balls and, in the air. Yeah, so it was, and but it, like Longy played well, like played very well, and I still hit some okay shots. But if I was to hit a good shot, and he hits a good shot as well, 
his good shot is better than my good shot, so we still take his ball, which looks like I'm not doing as much. <laughs> How much worryment was there about these random two plonkers that you got to you know, spend five hours with on a golf course? Were you kind of fretting that you might get two <laughs> Eagles nuff-nuffs or just two 80-year-olds and you're like, oh, what have we done? Like, This is a fair commitment. We uh, we built up to ourselves pre this round mm. that we'll, it was going to be a fair rivalry between. Yeah. <laughs> like, we'll sort of, there was a match, obviously, the, the whole field of 80 people, I think there was. But the main goal was for me and Jace to go after these other two in our group and beat them. Andy Harris and Samuel, shout out. Yeah, yeah. And we couldn't do it. <laughs> so for those <laughs> following you on Instagram, all the drive in and you were saying, oh, I bet you that's Andy in that car there. Like, <laughs> he's in for a tough day. Yeah. <laughs> so like yeah, there was a serious arch rivalry before yeah. laying eyes on the gentleman. It was. Um, what were they like as blokes? Like were they all right? Like did yeah. you continue that? I suppose, vulgar nature towards them <laughs> once the game had started? Let's or? be honest. They were ripping fellas, and yeah. I ended up spending half of my day with them because <laughs> this guy here was <laughs> tired sitting in the cart all day. So you are just sitting in the cart like you weren't engaging in combo? There was no engagement whatsoever from Jason's side, Other so I spots. end up getting to know him pretty well. Yes. What's your handle, Gilbs, for everyone that wants to follow along of your um, troubles on the course? <laughs> it is jso underscore is underscore cool. But, um... <laughs> Sorry. How, how embarrassing is that? <laughs> nah, it's almost pretty uncool to do. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually, we're actually going to start doing a bit more like better golf stuff, I reckon, yeah. because we'll see if we can get a sponsor on board. Has he been let into the reverse <laughs> fairway finders or not? Nah. Mm, not, no, those boys don't talk to you, com- do they? Competes no. against, he competes against the oh, it's a rivalry yeah. account. <laughs> I've never actually thought of it like that. So, it is, yeah. so I'm not sure this could get cut out because the powers would be. I heard a... a Filthy rumor. <laughs> Do you have somehow a golf sponsor? <laughs> um, well, it's not like a full. Bo- let's like my manager messaged me saying like like we know like I think we might be able to get you like a like bit of a discount at Callaway here. So <laughs> they've seen some of these swings. Callaway, you know, like, he's a Callaway sponsored athlete yeah. at a twenty six handicap. <laughs> <laughs> that is outrageous <laughs> behavior. Um, but like not full blown sponsorship. But I feel like it's just like. Friend, like, yeah, like, we'll give you a big chop out. How many followers you got? Seven and a half thousand, maybe. Not not that many. Callaway taking a bit of a dip. (laughs) Yeah, they're going. All right. That's the word. Hey, you boys were on Optus deck today having a run around in preparation for Sunday's game against the Tiggers. One fella joined uh, the session, not, you know, in the skills, but on the sidelines. And it was a bit of a thrill. One C. Judd came along. I thought, um, I thought you were talking about me. No. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was out there and walking laps. <laughs> no, you were doing things. You were touching some balls every now and then. Not the footies. But, um, <laughs> pause. <laughs> the, um, what was it like? You know, you got to meet his kid. His kid's name's Oscar. Yeah. It's all happening. No, he's a good man, Oscar. Um, big Eagles fan. So the first question was, I said, Juddy, how are you going? He goes, big fella, you looking good. I said, yeah, no need. Um, so he was he was going well. And then we are having a chat with, with Juddy's eldest son, Oscar. And the big fella had the old school, like, Eagles cap circa the retro round kit the boys were wearing on the weekend. And um, I go, mate, Eagles, Blues, like, where are we sitting alliances-wise? And he goes, nah, West Coast. And I go, oh, who's your favourite player? And the big fella just gives me a wink. So Oscar, Oscar, obviously there's a little bit 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 of chemistry there. The big fella's 12 years old, so I'm hoping. How how tall, key forward? Nah, he's not that tall. Nah, I was actually amazed at how tall Juddy is. Like I've met him a couple times, but he's like, like at my eyebrows, like he's pretty really? tall fella. He's yeah, a like great Nick too. And like looks like he's got beautiful blue eyes. It was actually quite hard to look at him in the eyes. Really? <laughs> was like, yeah. yeah, like real quite handsome dude. We're um, saying today, Juddy's probably looking at us and I'm like, I could tell. I could, I could right now, none of these guys would <laughs> yeah. be able to take me to ground. <laughs> yeah. It's like, he was definitely looking out there today saying, get me back out there and I'll I'll show everyone out of you who's still boss. to give him a challenge. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, it was good to see Juddy. Um, one thing that Pikey, a new CEO, has kind of brought in, we're trying to bring old players back into the fold. So this year or this week, I'm not sure if this has been announced or not yet. If it hasn't, then it'll probably get cut so you won't hear this. But a um, bit of a reunion of the 1987 inaugural side this weekend. So our inaugural game was against Richmond back in 1987 oh. so we've got some past players that are floating around the club so Pikey obviously being a past player has close relationships so coming in the rooms I reckon yeah yep. listening to pre-game yeah so we'll be there slapping some hands I reckon it'd be yep. awesome so that's something we've started to celebrate obviously the retro round on the weekend how did you enjoy the jersey mate looked awesome that was probably the biggest regret that I wasn't able to be out there wearing it mate that was sick jerseys yeah. uh 
it was actually pretty funny. It was I was looking around when the boys started getting the kits on. I was like, geez, we look pretty funny. Like yeah. I was like laughing, thinking, geez, the boys look so different. Yeah. Seeing TV with the socks up. Like, yeah, TV looked that, crazy. <laughs> it was interesting. But then like once we got into it, it was like, geez, these jerseys are good. And the first message after my game, I looked at my phone and from mum, like there was no like well played. No, it was like, geez, I love those jerseys. So yeah. it, it caught the eye of everyone. No, one goal, three. She's not going to sugarcoat no, it. But exactly. um, <laughs> oh, that's fair joke, enough. That's joke, jokes, jokes. So um, <laughs> stuck on that one goal there, Mark. Eh? <laughs> yeah. What was the uh, what was the response to Coley and Jake's uh, retro shoot that they did to promote it? Did that get any traction amongst the boys, or was it just left to the marketing people and been like, ah, it's just them having some fun? Any banter with that? Oh, there wasn't heaps really amongst the boys. I think we just hats off to them. They did a wonderful job. They really took mm. it by the scruff of their neck and like. It was a good-looking photo shoot. Do you wish you would have been involved in something like that or not your style? Uh, I, I was midst like, every time you get injured, I feel like you go through a little dip of like a one-week like real lows and flat. So I was currently there, so I didn't really see much of it. I'd mm. <laughs> broken the phone and thrown it away. So <laughs> I, I actually haven't seen anyone until today, so it was good to see you boys. <laughs> no, I, was, uh, I, I didn't. I saw it. It, it was pretty cool. I will say this. Uh, shout out to our social department. Um, yourself included, mate. Yeah, I feel like we've had a serious uptake and I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed some of the content that's been put mm. out so far this year. I'll pass it along, yeah. the powers of be. The waffle was pretty interesting on the weekend, not the 80-point result itself, mm. but you had a couple of fellas returning. Yeah. You had Domi Shee take the field. And Jai Cully, massive deal. Boys yeah, get around him a fair bit, I'd imagine. Yep, and they had all the AFL, well, all the boys that were playing that were in Adelaide sent, uh, done a like put a message together, a big video thing, and we watched that. Which was um, nice. And be all honest, be honest. I saw the video as well. Honest thoughts? Well, well oh, it was all right. It was yeah, just like... Yeah. It was Good, like, this is what I want to talk yeah, about. Yeah. So it you've given like, it a massive pump up, but it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like... Oh, it was just like, like, it was good and like I liked the idea. It was just like four minutes long and like we're sitting there watching it and then it's like, like, and it's like, yeah, Cully's back. So like, yeah, let, let's go Cully. And then... <laughs> We sit there for four minutes and like watch the boys like, good luck, Kelsey. Like you worked hard, mate. Good luck, Kelsey. And like kept going. So a bit repetitive, yeah. Very repetitive. Well, that was all. I don't know. This it is was, yeah, good, yeah. Good idea though. This is the other thing. I think they didn't give him a clear instruction. Is mm. the tone of the message? So you had some guys who had like <laughs> taking the P one double five. No, I like, oh, had Snapchat was, filters yeah. on with like stuff coming off their face. It was like quite funny. And it then he'd go it. to like this sort of our line coach like. Good day, Jai. Uh, yeah. So, so proud of you. It's like, it was, it was like a massive like, dichotomy of like, where are we was. going for here? So it was a it bit was strange. Like, there was a few that had like that. Who done like that old? There was someone with like yeah. an old ja- man. No, Jake, ja- and, oh, Jake and Cripper. Jake and Cripper. Jake and, yeah. Cripper yeah. and, then, and the yeah, old man and filter. The coaches and then like, yeah, it was, I don't know. It was all right. <laughs> and then, <laughs> but there was no no video for Dom though. It was just like, good luck, Shida. Go get him, mate. <laughs> Love it. There and- <laughs> All right. I'm going to fly a few, uh, through a few of these. Longy, the 13, had a lot of fans pot you online, particularly with what you came out and said on this podcast about 12 months ago. You're like, I don't need to be on Hollywood Corner. I'm content in the yeah, 40s. Yeah, actually, yeah. Just going to happy to stay here. Shout out to all the people that, that uh, picked it up. What happened, mate? Was the aura of the past skipper a bit too much to negate? That's that's it. If Luke Shoe is asking you to take his number, are you going to say no? That's, I think that's enough said. Boots, I was very um, honoured to have um, Luke uh, offer me number 13 um, and I couldn't say no. So I'm when, loving when, it. When did he do it? Uh, as he was like, as he was already announced and it was coming to play or like on the final game when it was all wrapped? No, there was a few little jokes here and there. As you know, there's a few jokes. Yeah, jokes were funny mm. people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was always like throwing a few like hints out there, but there was nothing serious until probably end of the off season really. That's when it was a... Probably official. Well, the first time I thought it was is uh, straight after Shoe's last game. You two took a photo outside the 13 locker and you'd... So, uh, for those listening, we have our little names. This almost slides in and out of lockers. Yeah. So, like, obviously above 12, it's Oscar Allen, 13, now it's Noah Long, 14, Lamp Duggan. They'd screwed out the Schusters and it was Noah Long <laughs> straight after the game. So, when that happened, I was like, oh, it's a bit off from Longy, <laughs> isn't it? Like, let the guy, his body's not even cold yet and he's already taken over. But So that was a part of the whole joking side of things. We were, yeah, yeah, yeah playing yeah. a bit of a game, whacked mine in there and, instead of his. So, But yeah, it wasn't truly official then, but it did become obviously official. So on jumpers, Matty Flynn, ripping blow, <laughs> feeding into the fabric of the club. <laughs> yeah, this is a crazy, yeah. Like, was there a handover going on there? Was there thought to let's retire Bunger's number for a year like has been done in the past? Was it, you know, talk me through what might have happened behind closed doors on 2-5? 
Mate, I just think I think Matty Flynn was offered and just <laughs> took it up. And I think Flynn was this half is... oblivious as well. Like, no, nah, yes. Like Flynn, <laughs> you know not the, half oblivious. You know the story. Yeah. It was just like someone like said, I don't can't remember if it was his like they just like offered him the numbers and he's like, I'll take twenty five. Yeah. Like just yeah. Yeah, I'll fit into twenty five. <laughs> yeah. A bit lower than thirty that I had at GWS, it'll look nice. On the, and then someone messaged him like, oh, like you're in. His old mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, I reckon yeah. it was his yeah. dad. His I'm pretty sure it was yeah. his dad just said, mate, how lucky are you? Like, you got Shannon Hearns. <laughs> <laughs> and Pliny's like, oh, geez, I have too. Like, should I even have it? Like, and then, like, he sort of started probably thinking about it a little bit. But it was his dad that, like, told him that because otherwise he just didn't think anything of it. I'm with you. Yeah, so the story goes, we'd, we've been doing a bit of an exercise today about past players' numbers and we were talking about yeah. how would you get your number. And he he's <laughs> gone like, oh, yeah, like it was the middle of the off-season having a few drinks like having a good time and peter staples <laughs> long time servant at the footy club messaged me i didn't really know who he was and i just said yeah mate i'll have 25 like because he offered him the numbers and then like you said his dad's like oh you'd want to have a good year mate like <laughs> what do you mean and then like this way i said like kenners and bunger like 1a 1b almost yeah. to me like greatest players of the footy club oh obviously alongside coxie uh, Juddy, Cuzzy, like a lot of greats, but like those two for our current era, our generation, for me growing up. And then, um, yeah, Ken has been retired for two years now. And Bung, <laughs> Bung got like three weeks and then there was someone else in it. <laughs> Straight to Flinny. Yeah. All right. Finally, um, Gov having his tooth knocked out. See that? Have you yarned to Gov? No, I actually, so I saw he was hurting at the time. Didn't even realise he had his tooth knocked out. Mm. Vision of him just handing half a tooth to the trainer and then having to just keep playing. That's crazy. I didn't actually even know that happened. That mm. shows how tough yeah, he is. Yeah, he chipped one of them. Tough. Yeah, yeah. He, like chipped one of them at the back. So I played two dramas tough. probably a week before that. Ooh, talk us through yeah. it, mate. Well, I had like a little bit of a wisdom tooth that had started coming through. So sorry, so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Why, is this why your rig is similar to mine right now? Yes. <laughs> You've been off the solids for a bit? <laughs> I was full on off solids for like a week. I reckon I had like one sausage and bread in like three and a half days. Because of my tooth, but it was just like a little bit of my gum was swollen because my thing was. But they like injected it and then just like cut a little bit of my gum off and. Oh, so actually did something. Yeah, they actually did something, and like that sore. So I don't even know how like you can manage to like knock one out and keep going. So you saying is that an excuse for round one waffle? <laughs> yeah, that was. The big, so yeah. you saying we should run back the thirty-five touches I, this week? I, Thirty-two, I think, sorry. I think we probably put it back on the table. What do you reckon? You want to put Noah's back on the table? or Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think we need mine back on the table personally, but I reckon we need to put yours back on there. <laughs> because like one so- one sausage and bread in like three and a half days and then like soup, not great. Not great performance. No. Nah. Nah. Pretty grim. Led to the big fella cramping in the second quarter. <laughs> and if anyone knows Jason, he's one wood. He does not stop running, <laughs> isn't it? You're yeah, pretty that, good yeah, I'm not like naturally not about that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I cramped big time. All right. Let's get it for fan questions and I'll send you on your way. We'll talk Masters at the end. Uh, Let's go with Emily Casella. Who's your best mate on the team? My best mate. Well, now that Jace is around, I hang out with Jace a fair bit, but Jamie Cripps is my best mate. Close to him (laughs) in the the numbers now, so me and him hang out all the time. What are those hangs like? Are you, like, <laughs> step, are you How's that? Mining He's this? saying, no way Cripper likes you. <laughs> are, you what, are you going out to do his surfing stuff? Are you looking after the kids? Don't let the, <laughs> the smart yeah. that gets to you, mate. No, I'm like, pretty sure he likes me. <laughs> I know what it's these, all a gag and he hasn't figured it out yet. <laughs> I know what these Cripper, this Cripper social life is like at the moment, and it's not There's heavily minimal. active. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so what are you doing with it? It's like it? wasting time. Oh, me, <laughs> Petch, me, Petch and Cripper like, waste a fair bit of time just sitting together in the change rooms Talking about all sorts of things. Because okay. <laughs> no, we're knackered. Be on the track, <laughs> right. right. Uh, who's your best mate, Chase? Uh, so, sorry, Milkman. Probably, well, I, I'm probably in a different boat. So I'm either like, I've got either Trey Rusco, mm-hmm. Sam Rotham or Jackson Nelson down in my... Oh, grim picky. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, they're my lads down there at the moment. Um, Jacko's absolutely wrapped that you missed some work and having hanging out on the podcast was, as well. Jacko was so off me this morning. Was he? Yeah. Because of this? Uh, not necessarily this. I was supposed to come to Walking Footy. You and phoned it in pretty late, didn't you? I actually didn't phone it in. That's why he was not. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't rock up? Yeah, I just. But I and then I said to him, oh, mate, like, he said, you're not coming, are you? And I said, mate, like, oh, oh I probably won't be able to make it. And Is this like halfway through Optus. training? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was like on my way to Optus. <laughs> so, cool. You're yeah. killing it. He's actually asked a question. So base, best Jason Gilby story. And I'll leave oh. it with the two of you. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. there's, like, there's so many. 
Yeah, I don't but, know. But, like, <laughs> uh, a lot of, like... Yeah. MA, there's, like... Yeah, there's probably a few that are, like, maybe a little bit far. My favourite story of you is, um, just very, very briefly, your introduction to the boys, uh, your, your first oh, yeah. song you sung to the guys. Yeah. That was, yeah, that that was very humorous. What did you sing again? Uh, for, I sung, first of all, it was It's My Life by Bon Jovi. Yeah. And then me it's and... It's my life. Now and then the sing off yeah. was again me and Marek had a sing off. Yeah, that's correct. Because like it was like both got the same amount of cheers and then like Who won in the end? You won eh? Me, yeah. yeah you that busted was good. out your one wood and that shotgun. One wood shotgun by George Ezra. Yeah, <laughs> in the back yeah, pocket. Yeah, that was there. Like that's hoping that I'd get through. Yeah. Was there. <laughs> nice. That was great though, that was. Uh, Tommy Cole, why do you call uh why do the boys call you Aquaman? <laughs> <laughs> Long story behind this one. Pretty much. They just saw me swimming in the pool one day. Oh. And they were like, she's like, he's pretty good at swimming. <laughs> From then on, it just got Aquaman. That's, that's all it is. Right, right. Are you that good at swimming? You're such a bad <laughs> no, swimmer. Not, yeah. not, not really, no. Nah. <laughs> all right, roll with it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the story. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll <laughs> take with that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Would you rather be stuck on an island with Harley or the milkman? <laughs> well, Weigh it up. <laughs> yeah, and I'm weighing both sides. Like Harley, like would be much more helpful in terms of keeping us alive. Woody, yeah. I don't know if he's got those many think, life skills. I reckon. I think if like yeah, so this push is a bit of a fallacy. I don't think he's like that much of a life skill guy. Like he's country kid, but so are you. And Matt, I uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And, um, yeah. Sorry, you've put it into perspective there. But yeah. I just I can rely on Jason. He's going to keep it. The mood's going to be up. Yeah, it's going to well, be Well, apparently pretty... not. Like, one tired Sunday and it's off the <laughs> road. <laughs> well, that's what we just don't get him a... Like, don't give him golf clubs mood. and you'll have a good you have a good time. <laughs> hopefully he's not in a tired mood and then, and then we'll be right, I reckon. <laughs> We'd be able to take it on. Yeah, I think as well, yeah. All right, that was Absolutely. from Bailey Pink. Thanking you. What about Jake 08? What's it like having a locker between the two co-captains? Mm, good question. It's bloody scary. Yeah. Like you got, look one way, you got Oscar, and then the next way you got Duggo. Um, but no, in all honesty, it's actually pretty good i've loved being next to these boys and make sure to hold me in line do you get caught in between some pretty high level conversations yeah, or arguments I, get the, like, I, get, I don't belong in the I middle get the of this tap but on the shoulder every now and then i'll block my ears they go back and forth speaking <laughs> confidential stuff and yeah then adults are speaking mate they're, 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 <laughs> <laughs> then they'll tap me on the shoulder and the ears can get unblocked and then i'm like they just go back to talking normally uh, so. quick question mate who's captain grumpy out of the two of us this is something i've always uh, i've always wondered mate in, in all honesty like user both the similar in that aspect. Okay. You, and you need to be. Yeah. But you both have a very funny side and but mm. you also need mm. to be able to find mm. the line. Yes. But you can both get angry with the best of them, I reckon. Yeah. Jamie Hall music. Longy, if you had your choice, would you rather play more mid than where you're playing at the moment? Is that a uh, very obvious question or not particularly? No, nah, I'm I'm I love down playing out in the forward line. Um I've obviously played there all last year and started this year. But if there's mid time there I'd love to, but I'm also very happy down the forward line at the moment. Okay. Last one, Thumpalicious, worth a follow. Uh, <laughs> thoughts on the Adelaide Oval streaker uh, and the Crows, Cats, and the lifetime ban that he copped, the young 22-year-old, just before you finish that one, which player would be brazen enough to do something like that and which player would have played the Ben Keys role in that scenario? I'm um, off the top of my head saying that's Jaden Hunt out there on the field yeah, running around, and we think it's hell funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's Hunty like running around. I think get, it's so funny. Get into the contest, <laughs> and then wasn't near it. That was right in it. Yeah. I think you're Touched getting someone. Ball. Yeah, I think you're getting someone like who's down back, Gov or TV, just lining him up and and splitting him. I reckon Crip would be pretty grumpy. Crip would be like really annoyed that someone's like interrupting the game. Well said. That was also yeah. I also think like I know he's like the buzzword, but I also think Harley's like kind of oblivious enough to like he'd like go to another AFL game and like think it's funny if he like did <laughs> yeah. that like he'd, he'd like is silly yeah, like that do you reckon they'd be able to tackle him probably not no <laughs> um, who's going to have more fend-offs this uh, Sunday do you think they'll try more fend-offs between themselves with Dusty and Harley knowing that that will be semi a storyline for the game it's one of those things I think it mm. comes back to like you kick three in the first quarter you're thinking you're probably kicking 12 like in the back of Harley's head, it's going to be on. He's going to be thinking about that. Dusty yeah. and the stiff arm off. So I don't think Dusty like yeah. Dusty. I reckon has no clue about like footy media or Lance. Like I don't reckon he watches any footy. It'd be like, I don't yeah. reckon he actually know who he is. Yeah, like I reckon <laughs> he's crap, that like, like switched yeah. off to it. And I reckon Harley's going to be like, I want to like yeah. <laughs> try and so like. So if he came here, he'd be taking Bunger's number. He'd be taking twenty five. Dusty, yeah, I reckon he'd be like, like oh, there is oh, no oh, way Dusty <laughs> knows. Like there's no way Dusty knows who Duggo and I are as the two captains of the club. 
Like I reckon that's like I just think yeah. he's like above mm. general footy knowledge. Have you talked to him before? Nah, he like belted me once and it was like really demoralizing. <laughs> At Revos? Nah, like during a game, like Jacko Nelson was like tagging him in twenty nineteen and like was he was on top of Jacko and I've like come and tried to like rip him off and he's just slung me, like ripped me behind and he's given me two and gave me a look and like said some really hurtful things to me. <laughs> and it was just like, that was enough for you. like and then I was just like he's actually quite a scary dude though. He's got neck tats and stuff as well. Yeah. So I was like, ooh. Awesome. Yeah. Hey not- boys. Thanks for coming on board. First step of Coast to Coast for 2024 and what a lineup it was to do so. Mm. A master's tip before we go? Who do you want to win? Don't steal mine that we spoke about earlier. <laughs> no, 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 I won't. And like, I want to say Scotty Scheffler because, <laughs> because like, he, <laughs> he's so dominant at the moment. But like, I'd love to see Minwoo Lee, like, Australian, take it out. Mm. He's a fair fan. Big mate. Dockers man, though, you know? Oh. Yeah, we can't have him. We'll you know true. Cam Smith has to, like, do really well in this one to qualify for our Olympic team? Really? He's outside the ranking, I read, of the top four Australians right now. Crazy. Oh, you can back him in. He'd go right to yeah. it. If he doesn't. Any Australian to win or Scotty Scheffler for me? Jase? Uh, you don't know any golfers, do you? I don't. Woods? <laughs> <laughs> I don't necessarily know that many go. go- like, I know a go- few, like Tiger. So who's in the Callaway uh, umbrella, mate? Uh, <laughs> who's in the like- Callaway entourage? Yeah, who's, a, who's a fellow, like, he goes uh, to the corporate events with you? <laughs> I actually don't know. Like Phil? <laughs> Who does is he? Who? Um, <laughs> Who? Mickelson. Yeah, that's his last name. No, I think um, I know that Brooks Kepka guy. Mm-hmm. I'm saying he'll win it. Excellent. <laughs> right. All right, we'll revisit. Thanks, boys. Appreciate yeah. your company. Sorry, guys. Tommy Fleet was going to win. Just yeah, yeah that, this. Tommy Fleet will wins. Yeah. Ask us big on Tommy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, guys, for listening. Thanks, Thank guys. you, guys.